Okay, so in this problem, our goal is to expand this using our laws of logarithms. So let's just do that. Um, I guess, sorry, you should probably pause the video and give it a shot first, just so you know this little 3 is referring to the third root of x minus 1. It's not the exponent here of x minus 1. Sorry, that's confusing. So this little 3 is just the root that applies to this last term. Okay, so what are we going to do here? Well, the first thing I'd like to do is to kind of expand this just by rewriting what I have in my parentheses. All right, so it's uh, 1 to the power of 5x minus 1. And I'm thinking, you could think of it as division by these terms here. I want to write it as multiplication. So times x to the negative 1, that's 1 over x, times x minus 1 to the negative 1, that's 1 over x minus 1, times the x minus 1 to the negative 1 third. And all I did right there was apply a definition of exponents that you could divide by x, divide by x minus 1, and divide by the cubed root of x minus 1. Or you can think of it as multiplying by x to the negative first and x minus 1 to the negative first. Uh, I'm just essentially writing this out uh, because if you thought of it, let me just show it this way real quick. I don't want to confuse you. If you thought of it like this, right? Let me just expand it this way, kind of like spread the fraction out. This is the same thing. Right, um, this right here. This is what we have here. Right, one to the power of five x minus one multiplied by all these fractions. All you would have up in the numerator is one to the five x minus one. Okay, denominators. Denominator here is just one. So one times x times x minus one times x minus one to the one third is our denominator here. So that's what we have. It's just that for me, this is a little confusing to look at. So instead of writing out these as each as fractions, I rewrite them using their definition. 1 over x is x to the negative first. 1 over x minus 1 is x minus 1 to the negative first, and so on and so forth. Right? These are by definition equal things. So now that I've messed this whole thing up in terms of making it sloppy, sorry about that, let me just move some things around. Move this down here. Okay, so we're at this step. Now, once you're at this step, we can basically use the laws of logarithms to break this down. Uh, my law of logarithms basically says if I have the log of the product of a bunch of factors, it equals the log of the sum of those factors. So log base 3 of five, 1 to the power of 5x minus 1, the sum of each log. So log base 3 of x to the negative 1 plus the log base 3 of x minus 1 to the negative first plus the log base 3 of x minus 1 to the negative 1 third. So I just applied a law of logarithms, I'll scroll down to show you, that says this, the log of a times b equals the log of a plus the log of b. So if you have the log of a product of two factors, it equals the log of each factor put together. And Likewise, another law we'll use is, I call it the clog law. You can add any base in here, I'll put little a's. It can be any base. Log base a of a to the c. This, by definition, as a law, equals c times the log base a of a. These are equal things. So that's going to help us because in each term, you might have noticed we have these little exponents. We can actually bring them in the front and multiply them out. So if I scroll up here, this is going to help us a lot. In the first one, our whole exponent is 5x minus 1. So we do 5x minus 1 times the log, uh, maybe I won't put parentheses there, 5x minus 1 like this, I'll put parentheses, times the log base 3 of 1. Plus, now, well actually I'll put a minus there, oops, I'll put a minus, because negative 1 times the log base 3 of x it's going to give us a subtraction anyway, minus 1 times the log base 3 of x minus 1, minus, we're almost there, 1 third times the log base 3 of x minus 1. So now I'm going to clear this off down here. We don't need it. Okay. Now what? Well, this right here, one of the keys, let me just underline this, term by term, let's break this down. This is 0. Right, three to the base of three to what power is one? Well, that's zero, and zero times five x minus one is just zero. This essentially cancels out. What's left? Well, the next term we have negative one times the log base three of x is just negative log base three of x. 
Then we have minus the log base 3 of x minus 1. And then minus 1 third the log base 3 of x minus 1. And we are done. This is it right here. All right, hope that helps.